Ah, oh, hey there, my derogatory word for the female vagina. It's me, IT Technical Support Solutions here, letting you know that all that anime you illegally downloaded has finally come back to bite you in the ass because it was actually loads of illegal illicit material. Come on, you wouldn't steal a waifu in real life, so why do you think it's okay to illegally steal one online? Well, good news, everybody. I hit 185,000 subscribers by the 10th of November, which means it will be a tasteful review of Roblox. It probably won't be the next video that goes out, but it will be the one after that, as it does take me a while to record for those tasteful reviews. And as I said in my last video, I won't be doing any more subscriber goals now for the rest of the month. Uh, hopefully though, we still manage to hit 200,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Social Blade does say it will take me 30 days to hit it. But if you still haven't subscribed to the channel and you are new and you've watched all my videos up until this point and you've been saving yourself for just the right moment, please consider hitting the sub button and hopefully we can manage to hit 200k by the end of the year for a great face reveal live on fucking air. It'll be an absolute shit fest. Oh, hello, it's me, friendly Russian hacker here. And today we're back in the Red World mod, a mod that basically turns the modern day scenario into a what if scenario if what if, get this, what if the Soviets won the Cold War? Well, you know what, guys? I've got another what if situation for you right here, okay? What if Isara Productions had some original content? <laughs> so people recommended that I tried out the UK in this mode, as apparently it's got a pretty damn good focus tree, and if there's one thing that I'm a bit weak for, it's a good old focus tree. Oh, there's nothing like a good focus tree that lets you go left, it lets you go right, it lets you go down the middle. Oh my god, the instant annexations of countries without their goddamn choice. So I completely forgot the law for Red World, but basically the Soviets have all of Europe and I have fuck all. The Millennium Dawn tech tree is implemented into the game, but most importantly, I already start with nuclear bombs, which is just absolutely fucking fantastic. Oh, they won't lie with this focus tree. This is pretty damn adequately interesting while mildly overpowered. Oh, uh, hey, Russia, I just need to borrow just a few things. Yeah, just some, just a bit of trading, that's good. You know, that would happen under your communist utopia stay, and I'm not totally gonna build up an entire armed forces and take you out with all this trading material. Oh, fucking Putin! You know, I don't want to worry anyone, but I'm pretty sure the guy in charge of India I've seen in plenty of Bollywood film. Oh, well, this mod knows how to do a civil war. Look at that. Look how many factions there are fighting each other. Boy. Oh, no. David Owen, our beloved dear leader of the United Kingdom, has been assassinated. What on earth will we do? I g oh, now we've got Shirley Williams in control. And the last time she saw a political leader assassinated, it started a fucking world war. Now, I'm not entirely sure just how Queen Elizabeth would be able to storm anything considering she is literally ancient but hey thanks for the immersion breaking situation god damn it i am the one that knocks <laughs> sorry shirley but i think things are gonna get a bit discoursey around here but uh, oh look it's boris johnson just the man we need to lead this national revolution currently going on by the fucking queen. Well, she's only gone and fucking done it. So the queen has seized complete power and boy oh boy, hopefully she doesn't die because I really don't want Charles in charge. Oh, the queen of the UK just seized complete power. No, Amy Winehouse has been found dead. Stop all press. What, you're trying to tell me that me helping the Islamic State in the Middle East and getting involved in foreign affairs to topple regimes that don't quite like us and to put other regimes in control that currently like us but might not like us in the future is a bad idea. You are smoking some of the wacky backy. Look, there you go. I cleaned up all of Libya, all right? And now it looks much better even though it looks like they have puppet who have they puppeted what the why did they puppet them in one fucking state what was the point of that but anyway peace in the middle east we did it perfectly no casualties are necessary and everything's going to be um i don't think they're planning anything with america there other than friend friendly 
thing things, mate. I this just in, BuzzFeed Live reporting to let you know that the Queen was secretly alt-right this entire- t This is problematic. Well, there's not like a, a lot for me to do right now, so I've kind of just led a small invasion of, of Ireland, you know. So it, they left my faction when the Queen assumed her complete alt-right control of the country, and I don't blame them. But thankfully we're going to get a new alliance with Morocco. You see, it's actually pretty easy to beat the Irish. All you need to do is bomb their main import port, and guess what? No potatoes means no fighting spirit. Ah, oh, wonderful! Oh, Northern Ireland, no matter what you do, I'm coming for you, and no matter how much you improve relations with Haiti, they're not going to help you! Ah, oh, looks like inbreeding's back on the menu, boys! Overpowered focus tray? Of course not! What would, what would Cyprus allow me to do? It's not going to be a stage in post for a mass invasion of somewhere. Of all the things Britain used to own that we could have demanded, apparently the focus tree allowed us to do this bit of Somaliland. Very important. Oh no! The British are back! Oh, do you look at that? Saddam did have some nuclear weapons, and it appears they've accidentally gone off after I dropped a nuclear weapon. Confusing things are going on in the world. Uh, Britain's reinvading the Middle East, and Italy's gone fascist again. How did this happen? I don't know, but that doesn't look like the Grand Council of Fascism to me. That just looks like a woman. Or maybe she is the Grand Can Council of Fascism. I don't know. Yeah, that whole... Italian fascist thing, it didn't last too long and they've been very, very severely punished by the Germans for attempting to do anything. Oh look, the African Freedom Pact's created. Sure is, sure is free in Africa right now. Oh, just because I nuked you, you just had to nuke me back and oh, there's Baghdad blowing up again, he must have hidden another nuke some. Oh no, that doesn't, this doesn't mean what I think it fucking means, does it? This, this doesn't. Oh! Oh god, no! Uh, so I just came out from the doctors and I can confirm I do have a brain aneurysm currently happening, but more importantly, America went into a kingdom, and it's led by a guy who looks like he's selling used furniture. Well, I've been fucking about in the Middle East and Africa, dropping nukes left, right and centre, but I think it's time we finally deal with all this communist shit going on in Europe. But of course, we've got to lighten up the French lines a little bit with a few tactical nuke inbounds. That's right, I did get a few 25 kill streaks to allow me to do that. And boy, the French are ready to die. Oh look, North Korea land is. That's uh, that's nice. Just realised the AI has stacked up hundreds and hundreds of divisions all along this Italian border, and they are slowly dying. So I've got this great, <laughs> I mean, absolutely amazing idea just to nuke them all into submission. I know, right? Who knew that I was such a MacArthur about some things in life, but <laughs> I'm, I'm so funny. Ah, uh, millions and millions of goddamn troops suddenly dying all in an instant. Well, there you go, guys. Straight into the nuclear radiation and aftermath. Go in there and mop up whatever the fuck's left. So you may be wondering just how many millions I just killed in that push, and uh, they were at 1.5 million dead people, they're now at this amount, so do the fucking math. But I feel a bit bad for the Union of American Kingdoms, because they're losing to fucking Illinois. Really? It's... it's... <laughs> I like to think that the North Koreans that landed in Ireland thought to themselves, boy, there's probably going to be plenty of food there and we haven't eaten in decades, but boy did they choose the wrong island to invade for that. Well, ever since I wiped out what I imagine is the majority of the communist forces in Northern Italy, I've had basically absolutely no resistance. Also, yeah, Putin enforced the Eurasian state. I, I don't know what that is. I don't fucking care. I've killed millions of communists and I'm not entirely sure if it was worth it at this point. Ah, oh, well, I'm imagining that war ended with Putin personally putting a bullet in his own head, but hey, we're, we're done. The world is free of communism in Europe, so it's not free in the entire world. Oh boy, that was a pretty interesting one to go out with. We, we had a big old war in Europe. It took me like tw tw 11, 11 years to finally finish that. That was, that was that was good. Of course, China still exists, so they're communists. I own loads of Africa and the Middle East and Europe. So I, I did free them from communism, but I think I have brought upon them a, a very much worse fate of 
living as a subject of Charles, so... I think I've just made the world a lot worse, really. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, hit a subscribe, and... I'm really fucking sorry, guys. I'll try... I, I won't ever bring Charles back into this.